So here you can see we have a down theme here and in the down theme you can see uh, there is no configuration with the application. If you want to configure the application, now the all-in-one automatic discount is completely compatible with theme 2.0. It means you don't need to edit your code inside the theme editor. So just need to go to the back end of the application here. And when you land on the dashboard, there is a button on the top, which is called as install or settings. Just click on that. And now you can see here, it's like a mapping and manual installation. So you have to select the mapping here instead of manual, because if you go for the manual, then you have to create the snippet and install the code and other stuff. Okay, so uh, in the installation, there is an installation settings tab is there where you just need to select the mapping. Now go to the online store on your application, uh, sorry, on your store, just go to the online store select the theme in which you want to configure the application so just click on, i'm just configure the application on this down theme so i'm just clicking on this customize under the customize there is a next step that is the app embed so click on this app embed and here you go enable the application with all in one automatic discount okay after enabling it you can see here the next step is there to add the classes with one by one okay so i'm just closing it now we have to add the classes here so how can we find this class so here you can see it's a card subtotal class is there so where exactly this class needs to be okay so when you go over these uh, settings here, you can see the right click on your subtotal and inspect it. So here you can see this is my subtotal, right click on it and inspect. In inspect, you can see there is a class that is called as total subtotal value. Okay, so this is your class. Now, how can we add this class here? So class means dot so here we just add dot and control v if you see here this is the screenshot when you see it it's like you can see right click on it and here is the total underscore subtotal value is the class name okay so i do the same here with the cart page like here then after next step is cart form outer it means like this is your cart form and here we have to find the outer of that form so this is my cart form and here is the cart content okay is my class okay so i just add that class here then after line item row outer it means this is the single line item of my cart okay this is the second this is the third so we have to find the outer of that line item it is like for example you can see here the tr is there okay so up one two and three so this is the cart line item so I just added cart line item class here. Then after cart product unit price. So here is my unit price. So right click on it, go for the inspect. And here you can see the product options is there. Okay. So just copy this and paste it here. Here the thing is like instead of just making the product option because it is the normal classes with the product option So better to go for the parent class as well So here I use the parent class here with space So first is my parent class and then after uh, whatever the class is there. Okay, so that is for the line item Now line total the line total is at the uh, last of your table row So this is my line total and here is a line item price wrapper okay so this is my line item price wrapper class the card summary where you want to display the card summary under the item price or under the line item price so i want to display it on the line item price so i just add the same here is the line item price and now display all in one automatic discount volume message like add one more product to get the discount so in that case i just want to add it inside this okay so i just need to find the cart item 
but as i said that part item name is the regular class which is used the other places as well so we have to use the parent class here that is the cart item details okay just above it and make it as a space here in between these two classes and save it now the mapping is configured properly we have to test it in our front end okay so what we need to do is just go for these three dots go for the preview and you can see here the preview is there and i'm just going for the cart now and now you can see display the volume offer here with add more here is the pricing here is the line item price and here is the offer which is applied okay if you want to apply any C custom css or js then you just need to go here with the custom css and js settings and here you can apply your css and the js whatever you want to go for so there is no need to edit anything with your theme as you can see here it is not added anything or customized here so you can easily update your theme if the new version is released and here everything is works with theme 2.0 without any customization on your theme if you want to go for the manual configuration then you have to select the manual here if you have something a theme like custom uh, custom theme or something so if you want to go for then here is the manual installation where you have to go for one by one all the steps that is the first edit your code from here okay and then after follow the steps like uh, create a snippet copy this code and add that code to that snippet then after create a snippet and add this css and js and other files are there with the assets area so i hope that is clear to you let me know if you have anything else or live chat is there you can just connect with them and they will help you to uh, install this application with mapping so no need to edit the theme and go for thank you okay so after mapping the classes with theme 2.0 under the settings in the installation we have to add some blocks inside your theme customization so what we need to do is we have to go to the themes in which we have to configure the application click on this customize button under the customize uh, there is a different options are there like offer needs to be displayed on the product page message needs to be displayed on the product page and card page like that okay so in that case what we need to do is first of all we have going to for the product page now add the blocks here click on the add block button and here you can find the all-in-one automatic discount okay and you can see here these are the different options you have to go for like the volume offer free gift offer wholesale bogo card conditional bundle etc okay now the volume offer is displayed just below the table which is on the product page the free gift top bar is for the all over the site so if you want you can just add it here as well under the header okay then other option is like wholesale offer wholesale offer needs to be displayed under the blow uh buy now button add to cart button okay now the bogo offer is displayed under the add to cart button the cart conditional message needs to be displayed on the cart page because it's a cart conditional offer and it will initialize on the cart okay so that is the cart conditional then the bundle i product by id so it is display uh by the bundle id so i prefer to go for display the bundle product here just be uh, about the email so like so just click on the add section button here and here you can find the app section with all in one automatic discount okay so that is the bundle offer here like let me just do that from here and here we go okay so this is the app section like this okay now other one is like all the bogo top bar which is display on the bogo product so you can just add it whatever you whatever you want to display the bogo offer okay so that is the different options you have to add inside your uh, theme area that is the blocks so you don't need to edit the offer for that like edit the theme for that but just need to add it one by one with the blocks so it will display the offer properly on your product page and the card page 
I hope that is clear. Let's see if you have any other help or concern. Just go for the live chat and we are there for you. No worries for that. Yeah? Thank you.